and on to the second item. We've got what's called these memorial plugs. And these were sent out to families of the soldiers that have been killed in battle, either on the battlefield or in the hospital. That was issued after the First World War and that was popularly known as the Dead Man's Penny because of the similarity in appearance to what somewhat a small penny coin. That was a total of 1,003,450 3, plaques were issued, which is a total of 250 tons of bronze. And that's continued to be issued up until the 1930s to commemorate people that have died. They designed the plaque about 5 inches, 120mm diameter, and it's all cast in bronze. And it was to be picked, and it was picked from submissions made by a public competition. There was nearly 800 designs that were submitted, and the competition was won by a sculptor medalist, Edward Carter Preston. The, the plaque describes uh, an icon of Britannia holding a trident and standing with a line just at the bottom corner. In her left outstrand hand, she holds an open wreath with a, a, a kind of tablet bearing the deceased name, as you can just see here. The name does include a rank since there was no distinction between sacrifices made by different individuals. There's two dolphins which you can see here and here. They swim around it, symbolising Britain's sea power at the time. And at the bottom, the second line, which you can see here, right at the very bottom, is seen tearing apart the German eagle, which was standard in those days. Around the picture, the legend reads in capitals around the sides. He died for freedom and honour, or for the 600 plaques, or then for the 600 plaques that was issued to the women, she died for freedom and honour.